Hey guys, I'm here for Meet Your Board Monday. Um, I am Brooke Domino, one of your club coordinators, and this week we're talking about our gear that we like to shoot with and use. My biggest thing I want to discuss was my horses, who are not unfortunately here right now, but my main archery horse is my black and white paint that everyone sees as Jet, um, also known as Racketeer's Dandy Jet. She's a seven-year-old paint um, registered. She have only been shooting off of for about two to three years now. Um, she was actually really quick to learn off of the mounted shooting. And we're actually training her in a mouse shooting as well, but she's really easy going with it all. Um, she has really nice even paces and is really good mindset. My um, other mount archery horses, my first one I actually taught is my barrel racing horse that mostly everyone knows is Dodge, Indian Outlaw. Um, he's my four-time world qualifier, but because he loves barrel racing so much, he is very, very much a fast horse and doesn't really care for the slow speeds. I am not that advanced to be shooting that quick off of him quite yet, so usually Jet is my go-to. Um, I'm also in the process of training another horse. Um, my newest guy is Larry, also known as Love in the Moonlight. Um, he's a registered quarter horse, actually coming from a pleasure horse background. But um, he also is very laid back and easy going and super smooth trot and canter. So I was really hoping to get him involved with it and make my shooting life easier. Um, since Jet can sometimes be a little choppy at her higher speeds. But um, those are my three main mounts that I was hoping that I could um, show you guys today. But I'll show you everything else I like to ride them in instead. Um, so one of the biggest things talking about my horses, I always wear leg protection with them. Um, my horse always go in polos or boots. They all mostly shoot in um, snaffles. I have actually a war, not necessarily a war bridle, but one of those figure eight nose bands, I call it my war bridle. And um, Dodge usually goes a little bit more of a shank fit because he can get hot sometimes and he just respects it better. Jet, I'm actually teaching her mostly to do a snaffle or um, we also go off of no reins and um, bridleless riding. Same thing with Larry. He's just kind of easy going with just a snaffle or no, um, no bridle at all. But one of my big things that a lot of people don't see um, nowadays is my saddle that a lot of people find interesting. So I wanted to showcase that. Um, I actually, I started shooting in a Western saddle um, because I mostly do Western now. I started English, but um, Western's my, been my go-to. However, I've always really liked the McClellan saddles and I was finally able to find one. Um, so this is a McClellan. Um, this is not, a, unfortunately, an original World War II McClellan. It's based off of the original World War II's. Um, you see they're very, very lightweight and there's not much to them. So it offers a lot of movement for the horse underneath you. Some people find them uncomfortable, but I actually don't mind it. There's no padding here. So this is basically almost like sitting on the tree. Um, but I found my horses be very free moving underneath them and it gives me a lot of movement also when I'm shooting. So as you can see where the stirrups are attached to, I can kind of move and twist in the saddle as I need to, depending how I'm shooting. Um, this is actually how I shoot it. I leave this on it. It's kind of what came with it. But um, I really like it. Um, it's not for everybody. It's, it is very slick, um, but I've never really had problems shooting with it and I like the freedom it gives me. I also will often shoot in my barrel saddle. It's my most worn in saddle and I ride in it every day and I'm super comfortable in it. However, um, when I do do back shots or like try to twist in the saddle and move my body around, I find it limits me a little bit more versus my McClellan. So um, my McClellan's usually my go-to, but I also will do my Western saddle depending more so on the horse and um, kind of the style of competition. Um, next thing I want to talk about is my gear, um, the rest of my gear that we kind of talked about the horses. Um, this is actually just a quiver that a fan made me years ago. Um, kind of custom made it to my likes between the Viking and Elvish stuff and it has Elvish designs on it. Um, it's too big for my back quiver, but I use it to hold all my stuff and usually stands up on its own besides being in the mud. But um, I really like it and I use it a lot, just mostly to carry all my stuff in it. Um, my quiver that you see on me now is actually one of my favorite quivers. I started off with a hip quiver when I used to shoot the more Mediterranean style. Um, this is from Steve's Arpetry. Everyone kind of knows him. Um, show close up. I absolutely love this quiver. It fits me really well. It's easy to get the arrows out of. Um, and he designed it. I love Rohan from Lord of the Rings. So I have a, the Rohan horse on mine. But um, I absolutely love these styles and I find them very comfortable. And this is what I used to compete with mostly. Um, and always my go-to as a hip quiver, but I love this. Um, but now I shoot a more Persian style, which actually I had learned through Mihai Cosme. Um, he's, I like to say he's my mentor, but um, this is actually one of his one, his own personal quivers I actually gotten on, off of him. It's a back quiver, he, as many may have seen with him, he has a lot of different styles. 
Um, this was a very old style of him that he used back when he won world championships a while back um, that he didn't really shoot with anymore. And I loved the feeling of it when I tried it. So I got it off of him. As you see, it kind of hooks up through the back. Um, it's very comfortable. And I like it because it's ease of access for when I grab my arrows, especially for the Persian style. I find it very quick to draw and shoot. Um, and the way it sits over my shoulder. As you know, a lot of his style is about really firing off quickly, so I find that his quivers really help me shoot a lot quicker than I did with um, versus my hip quiver, or sometimes with a sword um, draw as well. And the bows I like to use, um, I actually have my first bow here that I use mostly for photos now because it's pretty, but this is actually a PVC bow. Um, I got it off of Etsy. I don't even think they're made anymore, but um, it's very lightweight. I got it because... When I first started shooting mountain archery, I didn't even know it was really a sport. I thought it would be cool to try to do it. So um, I wanted to get more, not necessarily cheap gear, but something that if I dropped it and my horse stepped on it, I wouldn't necessarily cry over. So I started with my PVC bow. So it's pretty hardy. It's just PVC and um, one of those like parrot cords type to it. Um, it's done its due justice. It's really kind of gotten me far. Um, I love it. It's I use it for when I start teaching people because I know that like you can dry fire this and it's not going to break. Um, it's very, very sturdy, but it's my first bow. It's big, as you can see also, compared to me for a horse bow, but it did its job for a long time. Now the bow I shoot with now is one of um, the Nomads from Canyon. Um, I absolutely love this bow. I thought I liked that bow, and I got this one. Again, I'm very, I guess you can say green in Mount Archery. I've taught myself a lot, and more so just from trial and error and watching other people and from a few guidance from some. So I'm not nearly as experienced as others are about the types of bows or what to shoot with and what not to shoot with. But um, Canyon hooked me up with this for my first bow and I absolutely love it against my baby because it was my first true one. Super lightweight, a lot shorter compared to my other ones you see. I love the draw weight. I shoot, a, I think this one's about a 40 pound um, draw weight and I forget the length of it. But um, you know, this one's, I love this a lot, and I love a lot of Canyon's um, bows and his stuff. And he's always super helpful, so I would, he hooked me up with this, and I absolutely love it. Um, I also, speaking of gear bags, I actually have one I use for all my extra stuff. Um, one of the biggest things that I kind of carry with me now since learning from Mihai was I have this little tote here that has a lot of extra stuff in it. Um, and I'll show you how I do my arrows. I have scissors in here. I have a bunch of extra knocks. Um, these ones I actually like shooting with the cock knocks from Nomad. Um, they're really easy to put on. It's kind of hard to see, but they're, they twist a little bit, and I find it easier to find the string. Um, I have some scissors in here, some tape, and I just is kind of my go-to for when I'm doing my own arrows. Um, I also have my targets. Again, I don't have all of them here. So I'm in the process of still moving, but I'm actually hoping to build a course here. The last thing I kind of wanted to go over was um, what I do with my arrows. Because not a lot of people shoot them all different styles. These ones are just your normal carbon arrows. Um, I'm not that fancy yet. I also just haven't known what type to get. I know some people like sham shooting bamboo, some like other styles. These are just your straight carbon ones. Um, what I will do with my arrows, so you can see this is the cock knocks. Um, let me see the twist there and how it kind of folds out. What I do with mine, because I shoot from the back quiver and with a Persian release... As you can see here, I like to reach with three fingers. So I actually will cut down my feathers here. So my finger will go here and it's easier to grab and draw out. Um, the other thing I also do now, is a trick I learned from Mihai was this tape I put here. So again, as I'm shooting, I can just reach right here and grab and draw it out and I'm ready to go. That tape kind of mostly just helps me be able to grab my arrow and not drop it and grab it from my back a lot easier. Um, and I also will kind of tape down here as well. But... Those are kind of mostly my biggest things I use. I, again, I'm very more of a, I guess you can say, a green archer. Um, I'm still learning a lot, so I actually like watching a lot of these videos from our fellow board members at what they like to shoot and their styles. So uh, these are what I kind of find that fit for me. Um, and they're nothing too crazy or whatnot, but I like the back air, uh, the back quivers, especially this one, um, which especially being from me high, and I find it very comfortable. Oh, also my bracer. Um, I have one because I don't necessarily always hit my arm, but I'm always afraid to. This one was custom made also from a friend of mine. Um, they got to match with the Rohan to match my hip quiver. I just had this, and I kind of started merging it in water and had it more mold to my arm. But um, it's more so as protection and just being careful. Uh, I'm always afraid I'm going to hit myself. I used to I do bow hunting 
mostly with a compound. I tend to hit myself with the compound bow, not necessarily when I'm doing my archery bows, but um, I always end up having something on my arm just for protection. And also, if you notice, I don't shoot with anything on my fingers. Um, some people will do different types of releases. I find with my Persian release, I really don't need it with my fingers. Um, some people will tape certain ones. I find it very comfortable, and I guess I have enough calluses that it doesn't really rub bad. So I just kind of shoot bare hand on both hands. Um, I've never really had a problem with hitting my hands with the Persian release. I used to hit myself with the Mediterranean, and I find it kind of leaving marks on my hand. But since the Persian shoots on the off side, I really don't have any problems with it. But, um, yeah, this is most of my stuff, and if you guys have any questions, um, love to see them in the comments. Again, questions, answers, anything you want to know about me or what I use or even my horses, let me know in the comments, and hope you guys enjoyed this video.